everybody welcome back again we are so glad you are here remember if you are returning don't forget to like or subscribe and share this video and if you're here for the first time we welcome you to this channel um, I just you're in for a treat today just a quick video so I have an opportunity to just share some Bible study tips with you you know as we just continue on we are just starting this Bible journey you know just like the seasons change sometimes you know studying the Bible can feel like you are uh, trying to climb a high mountain but we know that the Holy Spirit is there to help us to guide us to lead us and just as we transition and we're coming into fall we're open to the different changes that he brings in our lives and we allow his word to just be our our guide you know just like those beautiful colors that come in and fall we are just ready and is sitting at the edge of our seat waiting for what the Holy Spirit will do and so I pray today in the name of Jesus Christ as you just walk this journey with me that you will find these tips helpful and will bless your time of Bible study. Okay, everybody. So today what I wanted to do is come back in. I hope you're doing well. You're progressing well with your reading plans. Remember, if you have not had a chance to take a look at those videos, check them out. I made a playlist called Living Word Daily Bread Bible Study System. Um, you can go through, listen to those videos, figure out where you are in your life circumstances and situations and pick a reading plan that will work best for you. But this video is about showing you, giving you some ideas, tips, strategies on what you can do when you are zooming in. Now, again, zooming in, what does that require? You can look at commentaries, you can read commentaries, you can go online, you can look up words, you can define words. But specifically, I wanted to share something with you today. Um, it is a system that I does, that with the help of the Holy Spirit, I want to give him all credit for that, that um, it gives more meaning to my highlights. I mean, I had to like calm my highlighting down, right? You know, you, you know how when you look back at a page and you're thinking, okay, why did I highlight this again? Well, this will kind of zoom that in for you and make, give a method to your highlighting. Now, before I get started though, I wanted to share with you the particular Bible. Now, before I say this, I want to say to you, you do not have to use this Bible. You can do, I'm going to show you a video later on, but there's, um, you can go on Microsoft Word. Let's say you're on Bible Gateway and you're reading a verse or a passage. You can take that uh, passage, copy it, paste it, put it on a Google Doc or Word document, print it out, and then annotate that way. Make your annotations, put it in a notebook, and or file it. Okay, so it doesn't have to be this particular uh, Bible. You can use your regular Bible. You can put sticky notes in it. You know, they have larger sticky notes, even I think online, Amazon, where you can have more space to write. Because what happens is if you're doing the KJV, it's very difficult, or I haven't found many journaling Bibles. Um, so these, I'm just sharing with you what I have found and what I've come across. This is called the Spiral Bible. Bible and you can buy that online. They have them uh, broken up by the genre. So like this one's the, uh, the books of poetry. And then the one that I'm using or showing you today is the whole entire New Testament. So it's broken up, but they give you large margins. And if you write big like I do, you might need those large margins. Now, if you do not write large, you might find that this uh, Bible might be helpful. It's called the King James Version uh, Large Print Wide Margin Bible. Now, this Bible, actually, the margins, you know, they're decent. They're decent. If you write, you know, write rather small, you might find that that works for you. But I needed more room, so I am using the Spiral Bible. Okay, so with that said, let me just jump in and explain what you see on the screen. One thing, again, you want to do is you want to go through, and when you read, you don't want to even really highlight. I would suggest, it's up to you, but these are just suggestions is go through, read it, put on an audio version of that same translation so that you're hearing and reading or seeing at the same time, 
okay? So that will help to reinforce your learning. So go through that one time. Then when you're ready to annotate, what I suggest, this is what I do. Again, you might find something better. I just go through and I just highlight in, in yellow um, the verses that are just standing out to me. Okay, so I'm not trying to um, get deep. I'm just highlighting in yellow those verses that stood out to me. So if you look here, I have four, verse four, five, six, seven, on down um, to the end of the chapter. So that just tells my brain, okay, I found something that stood out to me in these verses, so I wanna go back and look over it. So once I go through, when I come back, those yellow verses are the ones I'm going to uh, focus in on. Remember, I'm only highlighting the verse number in yellow, okay? Because when I go back, I'm going to use my codes to determine what color should I use. So what do I mean by codes? Again, here are the codes. And you can use it in any color that you would like. Here are just what I used. I have EF, examples to follow, love, wisdom, LL for life lessons learned or life lessons, AG, the attributes of God, commandment of God, praise and worship, and so on. Okay, all the way down to God's provision. In yellow, I just have things that um, I just want to make sure that I, you know, am aware of and I knew or that just for some reason those words are standing out to me. Okay, and so when I go back through, so for instance, when I get to verse one, I highlighted it in yellow, but nothing particular stood out to me. So I just left it uh, highlighted as verse one, just the number only. But if you look at verses four, five, and six, now they don't fall into any particular category. Remember, there's no wrong or right answer but I didn't really find any category that it stood out for me, but I still wanted to know it, so it's general knowledge. So I left those in yellow, and then I circled it. So why am I circling? Because when I look at verse four, I don't have to read it intensely again. I know that that verse is about the diversities of gifts. When I look at verse five, I know it's about the differences of administrations. Verse six, the diversities of operations. Okay, and so those remain in yellow as general knowledge. But if you look at verse eight, verse eight, I highlighted that number first. And then when I went back, I realized and I said, okay, to me, these seem like the principles of God. So if you look, number nine says PR, principles of God. I actually mark it PRC so that I don't get it confused with the promises of God. So if I look at verses eight through 10, those are some principles or things that the Apostle Paul is teaching us that God wants us to know. So that's in a specific color. And then I went through and circled all of those nine gifts. Okay, so that's how I'm using those codes to help me. And then if you look to the left, I have it marked PRC in the margin. And then if you look over to the right, I actually took the time and I wrote down gifts, administrations, operations, okay? And then to expand it, I went ahead and wrote down all of the nine gifts listed in that passage, okay? So that just tells you when you go through the chapter, you don't try to force it. Whatever you feel falls in that category, you use your highlighter to indicate that. Okay, another way to do it instead of actually using the codes, by the way, I don't know if I said this already, I will try to remember to leave a link so that you can just print this out if you want to, or you can make your own. But another way that, another idea, what I found is actually easier is I just found my, you know, I have like 13 of these highlighters, and then I just labeled the highlighters. Um, I tried to do it in permanent marker, but it rubbed off. So what I did is I just took my little, my daughter's little labeling machine and I just put that on each pen and tried to tape it or glue it down. So if you notice, I have love and wisdom and the promises of God and so on, okay? So that's actually a quicker way because once you know what category it falls in, the pen tells you what color you're gonna use, okay? So that's one um, example. 
um, for the margins, as far as that's concerned, where it says, for instance, I was reading along and let's say I get to seven, verse seven, it says, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Well, first, first thing is manifestation. Exactly what is that? So I've shown you in other videos how you can go on Bible Hub, Blue Letter Bible, and you can find the Strong's Greek entry number. So I found that that was 5321. So they gave me the transliteration of that, and the transliteration of that is P-H- a-N-E-R-O-S-I-S. -S. You can click on that and they will pronounce it for you. I will not do that here. When I looked online, they had a Vine entry number. Vine is just a, a dictionary. It's called Vine's Dictionary. You can Google it. I don't know the exact title. Um, he had a, a actual definition and I think um, I would need something a little deeper than that. So I went on to the, the Webster's, if you want to write this down, it's the 1828 Webster's Dictionary. And what that does is he takes all of the KJV words, you know, words that we would need definition for, definitions for, and he gives you those definitions. So when I looked it up, it said manifestation is the act of disclosing what is secret, unseen, or obscure. Okay, so that's how that helped me. And in the margin, I actually wrote down when I got to verse, let's say 24. When I got to verse 24 and I read that, I was like, oh, oh my goodness, okay, what exactly do they mean by that? So it said, for our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. So I'm thinking, okay, oh my word, what exactly are they saying there? So I went to Majority Standard Bible. That's called Majority Standard Bible Online. You, again, you can find that in Bible Hub. And I had it, I wrote that in a different translation to bring clarity. So it reads, whereas our presentable parts have no such need, but God has composed the body and has given greater honor to the parts that lacked it. So I'm actually zooming in on that chapter. I haven't just read it, you know, skated by it, ch checked it off as being, you know, some task for the day, but I'm taking the time to engage, to really soak in God's word so that I have understanding. There is a verse um, that talks about, I know you've heard about the four, the parable of the, the sower, you know, that it's so, the seed is sown on good ground or it's sown on uh, ground with thorns or it's sown where, um, you know, the word is choked out of us. It's, it's stolen from the end. The enemy steals it because there's a lack of understanding. Well, this is to help us so that that word falls on good ground. Okay. So I hope that this tip just helps you to zoom in when you're ready to zoom in on those particular chapters to bring understanding and enlightenment from the Holy Spirit. So again, I just want to reiterate the Bible is called one of the Bibles that you could actually look for is your King James Version, large print, wide margin Bible. You might find that that might be helpful if you um, want to find a Bible to write in. And then you have the spiral Bible. You have the codes. Remember, I'm going to try to remember to put that in online uh, in the description box. Then you have your actual, uh, uh, let me see, actual pins here that you can label and use those to help you as you're studying. So again, I hope this was helpful to you. Be blessed in your studying. Um, just enjoy your process. Just enjoy your time with God. You will see that he will give you ideas even beyond you know what you've heard me speak about. And there will be a joy that it brings to you. You won't, um, you know, look at it as, oh, 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 you know, like a guilt thing. Oh, I need to read the Bible to, today. You know, you'll want to actually do it. So again, I thank you for your time. Be blessed in Jesus name. Amen.